It's the final day of the 2022-2023 National Service Year, and 30-year-old Emmanuel Kwatin, a teaching assistant at a top Ghanaian university, has decided to continue his job search. I dread this moment because the moment you started your NSS, you know that definitely there will be a time you will end it. You have to face it and you have to be going around job hunting. Commercial vehicles, popularly referred to as Trotro, come in handy because they are cost effective relative to ride hailing vehicles and taxis. Prior to January 2023, personnel were on a 559 city allowance, which is currently in arrears due to the increment in allowances. He finds savings to be a nearly impossible task. Savings, I don't remember the last time I saved. Because actually, the money itself, the income is not there. You can't save. Being honest, I have the account, but there is nothing in it. Emmanuel manages the remaining portion of the allowance for food expenses. I like it to go there because when you have it, um, at the end of the day, you just only need some water and you are fine. So, and then you go by also the formation, maybe 010 or 101. Popularly, I go with the 101 and, and I'm, I'm fine. He's optimistic about finding a suitable job to alleviate the current financial strain. And like Emmanuel, Gideon Frimpon, a University of Ghana graduate, is not bothered about life's outcomes. I'm just relaxed. I don't really worry about anything. So stepping into the world, well, it's just like a normal day to me. He's pursuing life one step at a time, guided by the philosophy of crossing bridges when he reaches them. Let's say I'm really scared because looking at the economy right now, there is, there is no jobs available in the country. Yet, so it looks like I'm just going back to stay home. 25-year-old James Ampofo, a graduate of Accra Technical University, is concerned about his chances of being retained at his previous educational institution. He plans to continue browsing online recruitment sites and to hope strikes from numerous job applications while also planning to travel abroad for green opportunities. I've submitted a lot, a lot of applications. I remember recently I, 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 did, I think um, a beach resort at Tema. Yeah, they were looking for an administrative assistant, so I just applied. I think I did that this morning. Group Executive of Human Resource of New Mont Ghana, Awokwe Sinsaki, expresses concern over the high demand for white-collar jobs in nearly occupied offices. I feel badly about that, but I, I would like young people to explore other avenues because there aren't enough offices for all the white-collar people that want to be in offices. The HR Practitioner of the Year emphasizes that leadership skills can be acquired from even lower skill requirement jobs. Every experience to me is valuable. Every experience um, has something in it that is going to be beneficial in the long run. And I would encourage young people in particular, when you get to your 40s and 50s, you actually don't want to be in those kind of things. So do that while you're younger and learn then. Over 180,000 personnel were posted for the 2022-2023 National Service Year, but accurate retention data is difficult to obtain due to lack of response from companies. Some individuals are considering entrepreneurship, but the unconducive business environment and difficulty in assessing credit pose challenges. This raises questions about the government's inability to reduce business barriers and address graduate unemployment. George Quinnin, TV3 News, Accra.